This is Anita from Classic Royalty Designs and thank you guys for tuning in. Today's video is going to be on how to drape a basic bodice. It's going to be very easy but you will need a couple of things to get started. The first thing you guys are going to need is a ruler, you guys are going to need your pens and a pencil and a marker. And also to do this project you guys will need your basic muslin. Okay guys, as you guys can see for this project, you guys will need a mannequin. If you have this mannequin, it will be perfect. And the mannequin I have is a size 2. You don't need a size 2. If you have a 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, it doesn't matter. You can still use the same method for any one of those sizes for your mannequin. So the amount of muslin you guys will need is going to be 20 by 24. Or if you don't want to do the measurement, you don't have to. What you can do is just take your muslin, hold it up against your bodice, and you will only need the amount from waist to above this part here, and from side seam to the other side seam. Okay guys, now for the first step, I want you guys to get your muslin, lay it on your table, get your ruler, and what you guys are gonna do is that on the edge towards your right, I want you guys to do a one inch seam allowance from top to bottom. Just like this. And once you're done doing your one inch seam allowance, I'm gonna show you what's next. Now that you guys drew this one inch line, you guys are gonna just fold that one inch so line I'm going back to and fold over this one inch mark and I'm going to place it right on the center front which is right down the center of your garment. Now the key to this is you guys are going to take the middle of your muslin and you guys are going to place it up. You guys should have the muslin go all the way to the top of your mannequin which is this part here there should be muslin up here you guys and there should also pin be muslin, your muslin down beyond the waist seam and it doesn't matter how many pins get familiar with you want to put in more you can put, put in muslin more. and to get familiar with you know how to work with the muslin you can put as many pins as you like So as you guys can see, I'm just pinning the waist, I'm pinning the stomach, I'm pinning the middle of the of the bust. And, and my right next now, pin is gonna this be... is what your muslin should look like. It should be pinned down the center front, okay? So the next step you guys are gonna do is that all this extra fabric on this side, you feel the guys, shoulder seam, you guys are gonna pin. The shoulder seam is right here on top. So once you guys fill this shoulder seam, you want to put a pen right here at the corner. And again, while I'm doing this project, this is my way on how I do a basic bodice. Everyone has a different technique, but to me, this is much so easier. So now that I have quick one pin at the shoulder seam, if you guys can see, it's right there. I'm going to show you guys how to get that nice, clean neckline. So what I want you guys to do is just to grab your scissors. So the next thing you guys are going to do is see all this extra fabric. So what I want you guys to do is to now get your pencil. And you guys are going to just follow the neckline of your mannequin. And if you guys can see, stop. I'm just using my finger to find out where the neck is. And as I'm doing that, I'm going to take my pencil and mark where the neckline is. And that is it. So this is what your first step to using your pencil should look like. All I did was just use my finger 
And okay, I felt guys, with the this is what was, your first step. And you're step. gonna do the same thing. And you're gonna take your pencil and just mark a circle where you just felt the neckline. Okay guys, so after we're done with this neck part that I just showed you guys, all this fabric that's towards the front, you guys are gonna put you wanna your eliminate as much finger finger muslin as possible guys. And you guys are gonna move all this fabric to the side. So now so you're all of this, I'm gonna make it smooth. less fabric in the front, front, less of a mess. So the next thing you guys are gonna do with this is you guys are gonna pin down the side seam. I'm going to pin down the side seam. If you guys have a more you want to do, have, is just put your there are guidelines down the back side seam definitely that you actually feel where the side seam is, so use that to your advantage. And if this extra fabric, if this is in your way, and to also help you guys it out, back, you guys are gonna pin, pin it for a couple of minutes. We'll hit the waist. Like I have here, and you guys are gonna lightly or so once the side seam can do it a bit heavy, and you guys are gonna mark the side seam so it can look just like this. You guys should have a pencil mark from under the arm down to the waist. You guys are gonna now the next thing we're gonna do is you guys are gonna actually under mark the waist, waist seam, seam. Um, where the waist seam so is. wherever the waist is if you guys can't feel it just take a look you guys should have a line going across this way that also where the waist if it is. helps you you guys you can guys definitely have a line. mark Going where the under way, and this is the arm, arm is, if that helps you, line going I'm going to mark that for you so you guys can see where the underarm is. So on this mannequin, this is where the underarm is, this is my side seam, and this is the waist right here. And if you guys can see, if you guys see all this extra fabric in this area, this is gonna be your bust dart. As you guys can see, I'm not doing anything, and as soon as you touch it, it's telling you exactly what to do. This area, that's all fabric, it's gonna turn into a dart. See how easy it is? It's not, I'm not doing anything, and it shows you where the dart is already. So, if you guys are confused, if you guys don't know what to do and what to touch, just pay attention to your fabric and move because your fabric will definitely tell you what the fabric should be. Up here, and with this step, it's gonna be, gonna be the bust seam grown. Like and so I'm gonna move this here dark. And see, it's very simple. So once you guys have your dark, you guys are gonna take your pens again. So you will bring this dart all the way to the side seam. This is what you guys should have. One, two, and three. I'm gonna mark the outside of the dart. And then, since we have a marker, see, and right now, now mark exactly where you should side have. Seam. You guys should have your side seam marked with your pencil, your waist seam marked, and you guys. And if you want to just check to make sure this mark. is okay, you guys can remove your pen. The next step. So the is next step that I like want to. Do is and we are going the line to that's actually folded 
It's so, considered the second part to your dot. dot. So when you open so it, you're going to get another color of a marker. And that should be your dot, guys. And we can now mark our waist. And you guys can unfold. So that when you open your dart, So I'm gonna show you again. And you guys are gonna the red mark line is where it's folded what's actually and where it meets number one. And this is what you and the have. mark that's your actually side folded seam, your waist goes and with your butt. this first mark. So if you want, you can put a one here and you can put a two there. So this lets you know that this is your dart. That is so what it should this look like. Here you guys know that dart. this is the is basic your dart already, and made. this is your so dart. We're gonna make ours from here. So as you guys can see on this bodice, this is the dart, and this is the dart. So now we're gonna make our own dart, and with this is actual fabric in on this muslin here. right here. Okay guys, now that we have our bust and our uh, start seam pinned down and marked and done, as you guys can see here, we are going to move on to all of this fabric towards the front. So normally when you have a basic bodice, there are two darts that are in the front. Okay guys, now let's get started with these darts. The first thing I'm going to do is to lift my fabric towards the front. What you guys want to do is just to move an even amount of fabric. This to next the left step is up. Move an even you amount can do of fabric to the right. Two darts, or you can just do one dart. When I went to school, I learned doing a basic bodice using two darts, which means one on one side and one on one side. Two here and two here. But some people take all this extra all fabric, fabric right here and they make it into one dart. dart. And all that is optional and that is up to you. But for this, so, now you are going to make our dart. 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 So you guys are going to pinch. Basically, pinch this fabric, and you guys are gonna pin that. I'm gonna down. follow my finger down the princess seam until it gets to the waist. Okay, so when the first dart is halfway darted, you guys are gonna move and you guys on are gonna to do that the second by dart. finding your princess seam and going straight down, and you guys are gonna pin where in. Okay, and this is what your pattern should look like. You should have one dart here, and you should have one dart here. And, and on some garments, the, waist, the dart actually goes all the way the up front. to the bust. And but it shouldn't again, be, you already have close. the waist. It should almost be marked on the side this seam. Here, that you made, but not and you have the waist So there should be almost an inch and a half of space here. between this So what you guys are going to do dart and the waist dart. is get your pencil again. So now that you have the side seam bust dart, we are going to move on to we're gonna bring this all the way over. Add more pins going to the first dart, dart and leading up started. to where the waist seam is. So all the way across here, over the dart. Now, the next step that we're going to do is you guys are going to get your marker and we're going to mark back over this our mark. dart and over to where the side seam is. Now, as you guys can see, it is uneven, but that's okay because as soon as you take this muslin off of the mannequin, you guys are going to trace everything over to actual pattern paper. And you guys are going to mark where the waist is from center front to side seam. So again, you're going to mark from side seam to side seam center front to 
your front here with the princess seam is and you're gonna mark all the way to the center front. So this is what your pattern should look like now. Once you guys have that, I want you guys to mark where your dart ends and I want you guys to mark where your dart ends on the other side as well. Also, I want you guys to mark your dart where if you guys don't want to do you that, guys what you guys can do it's just and a grab. I want you guys to mark ruler, your clear ruler because you will need it where you're picking your dart. Straight line this way as well. Alright, so that's the neckline. Okay guys, if yours look the way mine does right now, you guys are gonna mark an amazing job. Your dart so on one since side, we have a marker in our hand already, don't let it go just the yet. other side. The next thing so you guys this gonna lets do you know how the much line that we did, you need to like, take in. your marker and you guys are gonna mark your printing line as well. Okay, and if you're somebody who always messes up and you guys are unsure of yourself, and you want next thing you guys are gonna do is to mark in, your shoulder seam. So basically, there's no fabric up here, and what you guys are gonna do is just to take your marker, or if you're a person that's unsure again, you guys are gonna get your pencil, and you guys are just gonna use your fingers just to feel where your shoulder seam is. Again, this is how to drape a bodice. Everything does not need to be neat because you guys are gonna transfer this entire uh, pattern onto your for the right way and correctly. The next thing you guys are gonna do is just to mark the armhole. Now, since everything is laid flat and you have no extra fabric anywhere, it shouldn't be hard for you to mark the armhole. So, as you guys can see, my armhole is directly here. So, remember before we marked under the armhole, now we are gonna connect. So, if you wanna use your pencil, you can. I'm gonna use my marker in a different color, which is gonna be red. And I'm going to show you guys okay. how easy the it is next thing we are going to do my is form. to cut. So get your scissors and we are going to cut all of this extra fabric off. Another tip for this project is if you see anything that you want to fix, never do it in the same color you started with. For example, if you guys found out that your waist seam, that your waistband was a little bit lower, Take another color, and you guys are gonna mark where you now, feel the actual. Now, as you guys can see, I did not cut it exactly so you know on the line. Exactly when you guys are cutting what the extra fabric correct, off, and what is please wrong. leave an inch. And if it's wrong, or I want you to half an inch to or use the same color. All put an X over just it, just in case you need to bring then, down the waist a little bit lower, or the side seam a little bit more to the back. But right now, this is what you guys should have, and this is my basic bodice pattern that I drafted from scratch. It was very easy. This is the easier method. I know this method may seem different to someone else's, but this is the way that I chose to show you guys because it is very simple. It is easier. It is less technical, but I want you guys to learn how to do things the right way, but not the hard way. So this is the easy way. And again, once you guys have this pattern, you guys are gonna transfer this on to paper. So what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to mark this pattern. Front, 
bodice size two on the front. Just like that, and you guys are gonna unfold your center front so you guys can see. And this is what your basic bodice should definitely look like. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna take out this the other you pins. Guys. I'm gonna use the blue the marker. Seam. I'm taking out the pins from the actual second dart that we made for this video. And again, the next step you guys are going to do is to remove front pins. So, once you take everything off, and what I'm going to do next is, exactly is also optional. Like. I'm going to remove all of the pins so we can see all of the marks that we made for this project. This is what we did today, and this is your basic bodice, as you guys can see. It wasn't that hard, it was very simple. I didn't do, and again, this was as my I see way now, of showing I you guys not mark how to do a basic bodice. Start. Not the so technical way, but the like easy that. way that's still not and as simple. And once you open it, you guys will see or that this is your dart. And I'm going to take out what my seam allowance. I hope you guys took a lot from this video i hope i went as slow as i could for you for this video if you guys like this video give it a okay, thumbs guys. up so that you guys my basic like show you guys how to transfer how to this diy particular whatever drag pattern on the body muslin onto pattern paper and to make it nice and clean how to make these nice curved edges correctly on paper please leave it below in the comments So again, for this project, you guys needed muslin, pencil, a mark, scissors, and just a vision. Bye guys.